Hey, Danny. You know, Sean, Sean's there saying he's never wanted anything as bad in his life before as winning this fight. Do, do you feel the same way? Are, are you 100% as hungry and motivated as, as what it took to get to the top as super lightweight to now? For sure I'm motivated, but you know, sometimes we want something bad, you don't get it. Is, is this, I know your limits. You know, most people, they look at you like you're the better boxer, you're the better counter puncher. Is he the better athlete? No, I played every sport. I played every sport. So you got Danny, whatever you want. You still feel like you've got to prove yourself out there. Maybe some people, whether they're fans and media, they say that Danny Garcia never achieved what he really could achieve. I'm not saying that I said that, but maybe people out there, do you feel that chip on your shoulder every time you step in the ring? Not at all. I feel like I achieved a lot in the sport. And um, this is just added more to more, um, more hardware to my collection. How did you internalize your loss to Keith Thurman? How did you deal with it? Um, Mentally, it was tough a little bit after that. I, I was good. I was good. You know, at the end of the day, um, it was a close fight. And um, I came back strong, and I'm coming back strong again Saturday night. What do you think is the difference between your loss to Keith and his loss to Keith? Um, I didn't take no punishment. I was good. I mean, I had no, nothing wrong with me. Um, I came back after the fall two months later. Was there anything you learned from that fight? I wouldn't say I learned nothing, but I, I, I probably could have started more, started faster, and been more relentless. I could have gave it more, um, and that's probably that's probably it. You know, Keith hasn't been back since your fight. He had an elbow spur. Do you think you had something to do with that? Absolutely. You know, um, he hasn't fought. You know, this is my fight, so that means I injured him. In retrospect, do you see that Keith was running from you in the 11th, 12th round? Because he was circling around the whole ring, wasn't really engaging. Yeah. Thought he was sure. up on the score. Do you think he was running? Absolutely, he was running. You know, it's crazy because one of the judges didn't give me the 11th and 12th round. So, that's how you score. That's how you score. That's what it is, right? Yeah. <laughs> if anything, they, they both could have did more. I'm not going to shoot a pro. I mean, I'm not going to shoot, shoot a pro. Everything's on video. And they both could have did more. If anything, it should have been a draw. Because the 11th round, Thurman ran. Danny was the aggressor. That's the round he beat us on. At one point, was that 11th. So, I, I, listen, if anything, should have been a draw. But it's okay. That's the fact. We got to worry about Sean Porter. September 8th, Danny will beat WBC champ. He can talk all he wants. Here's a dream. Ours is a goal. It's a different. That, that you know, he dreamed of being a champion. We're not dreaming, brother. We're gonna do this. That's what Danny does. He's the most underrated fighter, I think. But he do, he get his job done. He's not Thurman, we're not Thurman. We Danny Garcia show. It's a tongue hate the Danny Garcia show. Danny packs the arena, not him. People love Danny in New York. I love New York. New York is like a backyard of Philly.